Another episode of The World Is Burning. I'm still a bit ill, so forgive me for my, uh, my my voice sounding like this. Up to 25 subscribers now, so shout out to the, to the newest person who subscribed on my day ones. Um, the World Is Burning, as you know, I believe the world is going to crash in 2024, 2025, specifically the financial side of things, the economic propped up house of cards. Uh, everything from mortgages to used cars. I have a bit of a situation right now. My, my car just broke down literally two days ago. I'm a big believer in buying a car, used, drive it till it dies, then buy another one. I think it's the most financially stable way of, of, of doing things. Uh, but the car cri- the car market is fucked right now. Um, so yeah, we're going to watch a few of these TikToks, read some of the comments on the TikToks. Leave me a comment below. I want to know what car you're driving, how much you pay for it, if it's a lease deal, why did you go for the lease deal, whereabouts are you at. I want this to be a bit of a collaborative... Um, collaborative page so yeah leave me some comments below i'm really interested in what your deals are let's get going this is why the car market is crashing imagine you bought a car in 2021 for fifty thousand dollars but today it's only worth thirty thousand and on top of that you can no longer afford the 750 dollar monthly payment you can't sell yeah just gonna say stop this straight away seven hundred and fifty dollars if you're signing up for that i won't be signing up for that um leave me a comment if you are but that's insane because you don't have the $20,000 due to being underwater and you can't refi because of how significant interest rates have risen. Terrible what do you do? Situation. A lot of people are walking away. You're seeing a flood to the repo market, now an influx of used cars, and why the used car market is collapsing. Yeah, you see here, used car prices are still strong and very high. I've noticed they've started to slowly come down a little bit. I think we've peaked out. Dealers still asking ridiculous prices though. Yes, they are, but they are starting to come down. Shout out Chad Rich, the man of my own heart. First ma- mistake, accepting a $750 monthly payment. Exactly. Ridiculous stuff. Fully convinced the car market's about to collapse. I just had a customer who owed $68,000 on a car that was worth fifty. dollars He bought the car used for $72,000 and it was fifty six dollars new. The fact that a bank would even finance that is crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to stop here before this next guy goes on. Back during COVID, the past two, three years, the banks were doing some silly things, giving out these loans, just absolutely insane. Look at Sofa King. Auto loans over the past 18 months have become the house loans of 2007-2008. Uh, 100% agree with that. It's crazy. And honestly, you're spot on. The car market is collapsing right before our very eyes. Just last week, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau put out new data showing that loan delinquency rates were on the rise for autos. Like 33% higher than we've seen in the past five years on the rise. Now we've seen financial institutions set aside more money in anticipation of auto loans not coming to fruition. One of those companies, Credit Acceptance Corp, they put aside almost $200 million in expected losses. AKA loans that they wrote that they don't actually expect to come to fruition. People are gonna stop paying on them. Now the latest breaking news, Drive Time, which is Carvana, they've paused the sale of $350 million in bonds that are backed by, guess what, auto loans. The reason they can no longer back their bonds with those auto loans is because no one's going to pay those auto loans. Yeah, there's going to be, I was, if you go back a few videos, um, we were going over the repo rates and whatnot, it's going to skyrocket. It's already skyrocketing, it's going to go higher. I personally think this Christmas time, this winter, is going to wreck people. Loans originated in 2021 and 22 are starting to show higher delinquency rates relative to the loans originated in previous years. The situation is getting so severe that banks are warning that falling prices would leave many of their borrowers underwater, where they owe more on the car than what the car is worth. And while Spark- Yeah, I hope my 25 subscribers, I think you're all pretty switched on people. I hope you're not underwater or any of these cars or you got in any of these car deals where you just bought way over asking price just because you needed a car back in the COVID times. There's going to be so many cars that are just underwater and just unable to pay. Said that higher loss rates for loans that originated late last year contributed to an increase in write-offs for the period. On top of that, the Mishtalk blog also referenced a tweet where buyers are beginning to walk away from their cars if they're unable to pay back the loan. Yeah, this originated this is, I'm, in 2021. I'm kinda, oh, pause it. I'm kind of hoping I pick up one of these deals where someone's sort of um, no longer able to pay the car. 
in a month the the market might flood a little bit and we'll have more options on these used cars because people just can't pay so yeah i'm just keeping my di my eyes out for a, a deal right now if you're in the uk drop me a, a link if you have any good deals going on on used cars Last year, plenty of people, tens of millions to be exact, bought new and used cars. And now, Dad, because used car prices are going down and new car inventories are building back up, they are severely underwater. And we've talked about this a lot, haven't we? They're kind of like Jacques Cousteau. <laughs> yes. Here's the deal. We're going to run through an example to give you the perspective of how underwater someone from last year, a realistic purchase from last year, what that looks like right about now. How's that sound? That that sounds reasonable to me. I think we can do this. John Dell. Dear, dear friend of mine. John and Jane, they bought a yeah. new Kia Telluride last year, April 2022. Okay. Okay. They yes. paid. Yes. Let's just, let's just imagine they paid for the additional dealer markup. They ended up buying one of these new Telluride yes. SX SUVs. And it was a 61900 and You can't be paying that much for a Kia, especially with the Kia boys running around stealing them these days. Absolutely insane number there. The dollar selling price. Seems almost reasonable. Mm. No, that is sarcasm. <laughs> we saw lots of dealer markups and things like that last year. Yes. And millions of people, unfortunately, paid for them. There's all sorts of data out there that talks about that. Yes. Now, let's say John took out the uh, the typical uh, loan, the becoming more typical loan, an 84-month new car note. Yes. John took out an 84-month. Stay away from the 84-month car, car notes, people. Uh, I think it's the finance guys or the finance bros who break it down pretty good. You want to have your, your, your car cost less than 15% of your take-home, and you want it to be a three-year term, and you want to put at least 20% 20 per, 20 down. Some good comments here. We wanted a car last year, but I said, heck no, we've waited and still waiting. I feel like I'm with Mick here in this in this uh, this situation. It makes me appreciate my paid off 2016 F-150 with 124K miles. Don't allow your ego to drive you into a vehicle you don't need. I wish I was in your space right now with that car, brother. New car. Now, now nine months later, yes. John and Jane, they say, eh, you know what? We see that Tesla news. Maybe we want to go buy a Model Y. Like, yeah. let me get out of my yeah. Telluride. Yeah, let's do Let me get out of my Telluride yeah. and let's go get one of the Model Ys. Yes. So John may have had debt when yeah. all the taxes and fees, let's pretend John's in Texas where they had 6.25% sales tax okay. on the Telluride, all that stuff. John may have had a payment around eight hundred and sixty dollars a month for those eighty-four months. Yes, and made eight nine payments. Made eight payments made because eight payments. because you go forty-five days to the first payment. Oh, so, God. right, we don't have a part two on this yet. I don't think, but yeah, that just sounds like a terrible situation. Don't be buying a brand new car, a brand new Kia for sixty-nine grand or whatever it was. Ridiculous. This week in Motor Trader News looking very very likely due to heavily inflated prices that the value of used cars are going to drop this is due to a decrease in demand because of this economic climate and not as much people have the funds to buy a new car anymore even from our own experience we've noticed that cars in the mid-range section from about four thousand plus have been heavily affected and this is solely due to the fact that they just don't have that disposable income to spend anymore. However, there is still a huge demand for cars sub £1,500. As mentioned in one of our other clips, you can easily be doubling your money if you buy them for as cheap as 500 in this climate. Tom, as usual, make sure to follow. Yeah, this guy's from the UK. Um, I'm hoping that our used car market goes that way because it'll save me a lot of money. Fitzgerald Joinery, I hope we can go back to the £200-pound dinger days. Sick of seeing a battered 200k per sat for 1500 quid. Me too, Fitzgerald Joinery. Me too. Wow, look at this data. The used car market is finally starting to crack. This is the Mannheim Market Report, and you can see compact cars are down year over year 13.3%. And this is happening for every segment of the market from compact cars, luxury, mid size pickups, SUV, and EVs. BMO is one of Canada's largest banks, and they're stepping away from retail auto finance completely as their bad debts mount. And it's no surprise they're leaving. Bad debts rose to $492 million this year in comparison to $136 million last year. Yeah, and here's the thing, guys. These bags are getting huge, and the banks don't want to be holding them. The loan makers don't want to be holding them. You are gonna, you're gonna be on the hook for it if you've signed up to something like this, and you're part of this $492 million. <sighs> Gives me shivers just thinking about it. 
Interest rates are rising. People are struggling to pay. Delinquencies are on the rise. And then those used cars that they thought would continue to increase in value are finally starting to drop like a rock. What do you guys think is going to happen in this market? It's really interesting. And finally, we're going to get some sanity, I feel like, in the car market again. Well, with all the layoffs and all the, the, the disposable income that's just not available for people now, the car market has to take a hit. It really does have to take a hit and sort of recorrect itself because after COVID, things have just been silly. The used car market is like completely stalled out. And I have a really good theory on Craigslist marketplace inflation that I'll get into at another point, but this is something different. I understand that I'm going to pay a lot right now. I do. I do. But I've looked at four cars in the last three days that were dramatically worse than the ad portrayed. And it's not like they were cheap. I'm just trying to find something so my dad can come to the track with me. I'm not really looking at fancy stuff. Higher priced cars, I'm actually seeing come down in price. Uh, collectible stuff, not so much. But yo, I got some guy trying to sell a DX hatch for 10k. Stock motor, it's not like it's a case swap or something like that. Looked at an RSX, two 350Zs, and then today I looked at a uh, Z4, which was just kind of cool, but I don't know. Yellow? Yeah, hang in there, uh, bad idea, Tom. I'm pretty sure it's going to come down beginning of 2024 when people have had a Christmas. They've got payments going out. I'm pretty sure pretty sure it's gonna gonna go the right way for us tom stay strong okay folks the tide has officially turned carmax earnings this morning make it very clear make it very clear that used car prices are crashing and this is why you should pay attention so back in october there's this video posted on tiktok explaining why used car prices were going to crash now in 2023 the video got a million views and i was actually the person who posted it the reason for this has to do with used car loan interest rates so for example right here you can see for any used car between 2020 and 2013 they're 6.24 percent now if you go back just a couple of months ago or maybe about a year ago used car loan rates were hovering around three percent which made borrowing money very very affordable and this ties into a bunch of things in the economy job loss the reason home prices are starting to correct the reason we're in the middle of a recession right now. When money is very expensive to borrow, there's less money available in the economy to buy things. Demand plummets, which means whether it's homes, cars, wh whatever you have it in the economy, prices are going to start correcting and crashing. Earnings for companies start crashing. That's also the reason we have a bunch of job loss. But back to cars, if you can hold out for another six to 12 months, I think we're going to get some really good deals. Uh yeah, that's where I'm at right now. I don't know if I can hold out six to 12 months though. So I think I'm thinking back end of January is when I'm going to do my... Uh figure something out um shout out to zero to pseudo he's right on the money there the cheap credit that the government and the institutions got everyone addicted to and which they were addicted to as well has absolutely got ripple effects that we're, we're feeling right now but hopefully it's going to correct the car market is crashing now we warned everybody of this months ago when we saw cars appreciate twice as much as homes in 2021 and because of limited supply low interest rates and in a lot of cases manufacturers taking advantage of the opportunity we saw a bubble and that bubble has popped so what we're seeing now is people are walking away from their loans used cars are now down 20 percent from their peak and they're dropping at a rate of two to four percent every month after yeah shout out to this guy he's summing it up quite nicely uh or aurora here what do you mean walking away from their loans he just replied, they stopped paying. <laughs> and you're like, let's follow it up. Then what happens? Can I stop paying my loan? Lol. Then your car is repoed. <laughs> yeah, and then someone else chiming in. People walking away from their loans isn't anything new. Yeah, it's not. Right, we'll do one more and then I'll shoot off, guys. Here we go. This is a Tesla Model Y. This is a repo. I mean, this car is almost brand new. It's only got 1,500 miles on it. How do you open a Tesla? There we go. Boom. I mean, this thing is sweet. It's, it's, a, it's a brand new car. It's only got 1,500 miles. 
and uh, someone let it get repoed. And make no mistake, this is coming from a big bank. This is coming from Wells Fargo. This is a repo. It's got 1,500 miles on it. So I actually just talked to the guy that's been buying a lot of these uh, these repos. I saw him in the lane, and like he bought this uh, this Tesla. It's only got, I mean, 1,500 miles. And he said he actually buys these things all the time. I mean, it's a it's a brand new car. We're seeing a lot of these situations uh, pop up now. We're seeing a lot of these newer cars with not very many miles start to get repoed. And this is something we haven't seen in the last two to three years because people could afford the cars then, at least they thought they could afford the cars then, and uh, they were able to make their payments. And now it's not the case. And we're still seeing a ton of this. Have you seen any of my other videos you know I've already belabored this point Chargers Challengers are everywhere and it's really just that class of cars because we're seeing Chargers Challengers seeing Mustangs we're seeing Camaros um, we're seeing a lot of these toys that are popping up through the system a lot of young people that thought they had tons of money when they were getting pumped all this free uh, free money in the last uh, few amen he just hit the nail on the head he's he's out in the fields living this day in day out he's seeing it on the front lines these aren't bad cars that are getting repoed guys if you look here the challengers chargers teslas brand new low miles people just can't afford to 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 pay these things and look what leo c f says here just wait till student loans kick in again i mean that's the one that's creeping up and when the irs start cracking down on sba loan fraudsters in like 34 days well i mean it's coming, people. It's coming. Well, they spent it, and now they don't have any money anymore. And now everything's costing more. Rent's costing more. Insurance costing more. Milk's costing more. Eggs are costing more. Gas is costing more. What else? Put it in the comments. What else is costing more? They're having to pay that, and they can't pay that, and their car payments. So they're letting these toys go back, and they have to let them go back because if they don't let them go back, they can't eat. So. We see this a lot too, especially with a lot of Jeeps, a lot of big trucks. You see a lot of aftermarket parts on a lot of these things because, you know what? They spent money on getting these wheels and rims and this lift kit, and uh, after that, they couldn't pay their bill on the Jeep. So, you know what? They lose the Jeep, they lose the lift, they lose the wheels, they lose the tires, everything. God, that's shocking stuff, shocking stuff. So, yeah, as we can see, guys, the, the, the car market's in turmoil right now. I think it's on the side of the, the buyer, to be honest. I think we're going we're gonna to be in a good position. Hopefully, I can last out and get a good deal. Like I said, anyone in the UK, up north, link me some car deals in the comments if you could. Uh, and also leave some comments. Tell me what car you're driving, what you're paying for it. Uh, is it leased? Did you buy it outright? Um, yeah, any info would just be great. I like hearing from the front lines. Um, yeah, and give us a like and follow, guys, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one.